Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending April 16th. First up, this is from Mashable.com. You can say goodbye to the flip camera owned by Cisco Systems. They've decided to shut it down and close all production even though it's still the majority of the market as far as one-shot vlogging style cameras and it was probably the always been the leader really since it was introduced it was actually if you want to define what cameras are for vlogging I would say the flip is that it was still profitable so why they chose to shut it down rather than to sell it to somebody being that it's a profitable part of their um, business up till now I mean I could see the argument that maybe in a year or two it won't be anymore with the smartphones coming out but um, I don't think this is really a good decision by Cisco Systems really I mean when something's profitable at least if you're not going to keep on uh, keep up with it and develop it at least sell it to somebody else that would be willing to do it um, there was proposed and I think there might be a prototype around of a Wi-Fi model that was going to come out had they continued on but I guess since they are closing down this Wi-Fi model um, obviously will never appear probably something like um, to where you could just push a button and then upload your video right after you made it through the Wi-Fi to YouTube and various other sites. For those fans of Buell motorcycles that Harley closed down, I guess Eric Buell has um, raised it out of the ashes. There are going to be models coming out. This is going to be limited editions. This is from CycleWorld.com. This was announced back in February. I uh, haven't had time to get around to it, but I got around to it now. The uh, first editions that are going to be available to the public are going to be rather expensive because they're going to be in limited numbers so it's going to be around forty grand but Eric Buell himself promises that in the future there will be affordable models and I guess they're looking to open up Buell deal dealerships in various areas um, here's a picture of the bike that they're uh, working on right now uh, don't know exactly when it's available or when it's going to be available but the entire article I'll put a link to that like I do of all the articles in uh, the bottom comments section this is from uh, BBC News and sent to me by my correspondent Harry T. The uh, post office issued a stamp with a picture of the Statue of Liberty on it, but just uh, one kind of strange thing about it is it's not the Statue of Liberty from New York Harbor in uh, New York State. It's, for, it's the Statue of Liberty, a picture of the Statue of Liberty, at least the head part, that's in, uh, the that's in front of the casino in New York, New York in Las Vegas. Now, when asked about this, they said it was out of a bunch of stock photos that they picked it, and they would have used it anyway, which to me is rather strange. I mean, if you're going to have a Statue of Liberty stamp, why use the reproduction of the Statue of Liberty? But I guess the stamp collector noticed it because it's got more detail in the facial features than the regular Statue of Liberty, plus there's a little square patch. If you actually look at this, I'll put the photo up of it. There's a little square patch in one of the points of the crown, that's not on the original Statue of Liberty. So, um, rather strange. I mean, the post office already printed three billion stamps and they said they're not going to bother redoing it, which I can see that point too. Why pay for it all over again? But kind of funny if we have, a, you know, the original Statue of Liberty, why not bother to use that? And last up, this was sent to me by my friend Sarah, the Stargate Guru. Thank you very much, Sarah, for sending this link. Um, the Hobbit. Part 1 trailer, Peter Jackson actually gives you a little over 10 minutes of behind the scenes and some of the uh, new sets they've built. They've reproduced some of the sets from uh, The Lord of the Rings. Absolute, it was absolutely perfect the way they did it. You get to meet some of the actors, see uh, just so much behind the scenes stuff, and he promises that he's going to continue to do it. A version of this was up on YouTube for uh, less than a day and then pulled down for copyright, which makes no sense because there's links and embed codes that they freely let you use. There's a Facebook button, so obviously um, they want you to share it. But this is from moviepilot.de. If you look at the page, it's mostly in German, but the video itself plays in English. So check it out, and hopefully there will be more to come. I mean, there's going to be, like he says, it's going to be two to three years before this is ever released because it's going to take that long to film it. But to just see along the way, I mean, it probably will be slightly may be considered a spoiler to see it along the way but I mean you know, there's also the book out there anyway so you know who doesn't I mean it's one of my favorite books so who doesn't know the plot so it's not like for me it's going to spoil anything but I guess maybe those few people that have never read the story of the Hobbit maybe possibly it might spoil it to you but uh, they show you so much cool stuff behind the scenes and what's going to be going on and everything like that I'm just hoping they will continue to do it so the link to that will be below in the comments too so um, that's about it for this week 
Take care, everybody, and I will catch you next week.